Hi there, and welcome to another episode of The Dough Show for Monday, June 7, 2018. Uh, I'm Ferris Fair. And I'm John Deere. <laughs> and this is another really packed episode of The Dough Show. We're talking about Anne's and The King Show and many, many more. It was a crazy weekend here in Alberta, but it was such a great weekend here in Alberta for drag. Um, Friday night at Evolution Wonder Lounge was the finale of Alberta's Next Drag Superstar and the best of the best from across the province made their way to Evolution and and strutted their stuff and it was such an epic, epic yeah, night. It of, truly was. Of, of some really phenomenal was. performances and some fabulous looks and... And uh, oh. judges. Judges Nebraska Thunderfuck, Derek Berry, and, and Nick, Nick San, San Pedro. Pedro. Uh, uh, yeah, and they were all sweet. Um, we, very sweethearts. We were actually sitting right beside them, so we actually got to talk to them a little bit, so it was very nice. Uh, but yeah, let's get into the show. Yes. Um, the it show not have been easy to judge because the show was. No, cool. no. Um, it um, started off with a fantasy mm -hmm. wear around. Why don't you start off with that? Um, two of them that really stood out for me. Um, I absolutely loved Ivy Leagues, um, as I call her, Tzatziki virus, because <laughs> I can't say the real word properly. Uh, Ivy League is a biochemist who worked with the Zika virus. That's the one. Back. So yeah, so she cre actually created an outfit that was like basic, I think was supposed to look like what that would look like under a microscope kind of thing. I'm not even 100% sure, but uh, it was above my pay scale, but it, it looked very cool and the judges were absolutely living for it. Um, and then, yeah, when she kind of explained it later on, it was it was very cool to hear. Um, the other one that I have to talk about, like anybody that knows me knows that I'm that I'm a huge wrestling mark. But uh, uh. Duke Carson came out as the Macho Man Randy Savage. Oh yeah, <laughs> I was living for it, brother. <laughs> I was living for it, brother. Uh, yeah, it was absolutely fantastic, and I, I've already laid it down that Lourdes versus Duke needs to happen very, very soon in a, in a drag wrestling match. Uh, but yeah, those were the two that really stood out for me. What about you? Um, <laughs> I really enjoyed Go-Go Fetch mm. and his fantasy wear. I wanted to eat it up. Go-Go <laughs> uh, Fetch me some takeout. Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, totally. And the other one was Electric Cute with mm. the fairy wings. There. Those wings were everything. Yeah. Yeah, they were very cool. Um, very reminiscent of like Courtney Act when all of a sudden, yeah, very, mm. very yes. neat. Uh, so yeah, that was the, the fantasy round. And, and as I said, like they, they all did great. They all brought something different and um, Pheromone had some cool lights. And yeah, like it was, it was, it was very neat. Mm -hmm. um, let's get into the numbers because that is really where the meat of it should be. Um, we're actually going to talk about everybody because each one of them was was fantastic. Um, it started off with with Moby Dick. Yep. Uh, came out to Adam Lambert's For Your Entertainment mm -hmm. and um, like it was just amazing the the energy and the movements and the um, the lip sync was there. Like it was just it was so good and the interaction with the crowd like. I can't say anything. It was it was good. It was so good. Like yes. uh, congratulations, Mo. It was such a great number. Um, after that, we had Gogo Fetch, um, and she uh, did a reimagining of her Lies number, and this mm -hmm. one had GBR yes. with her um, yeah. as her love interest. Male um, model love yeah, interest. Yeah, male model love interest, dance partner. And JBR brought the emotion. He to really it. did. He just wow. He really wow. did. He really did. Um, and. I was sitting beside the judges, as I said, and like they don't have a connection to you guys, and they don't know the story, and uh, they were gasping at moments because it really was that powerful. So, mm -hmm. um, congratulations, Gogo! Like you looked absolutely stunning, and when uh, when your friends when their when backup came out to to start painting you, like the judges just they were freaking out beside me. Like it was just it was so so stunning. Like it was just yeah. this. It, that idea of with the support of your friends, you can go back out there and, and take what's your anyway. It was yes. it was wonderful. It was it was such a powerful powerful number. Mm -hmm. um, do you want to talk about about your girl Electra? Uh, uh, the mix. Excuse, excuse me. me. Uh, the only thing I want to say about it is that I know uh, the mix was done by Chelsea Horrendous, and it was mm. absolutely wonderful. Like it was yes. it was so good. And again, judges ate it up. And I was living for the costume. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if Electra made the costume herself or if she got it from somewhere, but 
the costume was very much McDonald's realness. Mm -hmm. I was loving it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mick loving it. Yeah. <laughs> and and uh, just one quick thing while I'm on Electra. Electra has really like impressed me this mm. this whole journey. Like mm -hmm. I've just been like, wow, I'm like way more in tune to what Electra's putting out there now. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, I've enjoyed everything Electra's done in this competition this year. So, uh, yeah, it was it was really great to see. It was a fully realized number. It was, yes. It was so good. Yeah. I, yeah, I was just dying for the... Excuse me, bitch! Anyway. Uh, after Electra, we had Miss Ivy League. Uh, did a Gaga Edge of Glory. Uh, I think there was something else in there, too. But, um, yeah, it was, it was a fun number. It had uh, uh, Rexy and Indigo. Oh, yes. As, uh, right. Miss Swan <laughs> uh, as uh, some background dancers. Uh, yeah, and it was a, a fun, high energy number. It was good. Mm -hmm. um, Pheromone came out next. Yes. Um, with a Mean Girls inspired number. Uh, yeah. And it's funny. Uh, Derek Berry commented about how about she was such a Mean Girls fan and all this kind of stuff, but mm. she didn't say anything about Gogo's -Go name. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyway, it is what it is. I just it's so fetch. Anyway, uh, but yeah, Pheromone did a Mean Girls number, and it was it was it was fun. Um, it was exactly it was a yeah. good progression from what we've seen her in this competition. Yeah. Uh, very much in the same kind of vein of the Chola with the back and forth, and uh, yeah, it was it was a great fun number. So again, congratulations, Pheromone. Like. Um, everybody really brought their A game. Yeah, like brought their A game to the extreme. Um, Stephanie Prince did really well in this competition. Mm -hmm. uh, Stephanie was one of those ones that I wasn't really keeping my eye on for this mm -hmm. competition because she's polished and we know she's polished. So um, I wasn't we, really. Sorry. Oh, I, I shouldn't have interrupted. I just, we don't get the opportunity to see her perform very often. and. She's definitely a look queen. Like she's definitely Very the much aesthetic. A look queen. Is, is beautiful. She I know always she's looks polished. well put together. And I, I know she's polished. I just wasn't like zeroing in on her mm -hmm. being a running mm -hmm. or a leading, a leading lady in this competition. Yep. But she ended up taking third place. So yep. that's not to be discounted. It's not. Um, and she, yeah, so she did a Beyonce number. Um, and uh, yeah, it was good. She had, I believe, they were a couple of members of her House of Prince were backing her up. And uh, yeah, it was a mm -hmm. it was a bang out Beyonce number. And the um, Beyonce number actually it got flanked for copyright, so I had to play with the pitch a little bit so it could be played on YouTube. But it is now back up there. So, uh, but if you notice it's a little off, that's why. Um, anyway. Uh, before Stephanie came out, we had Duke. Uh, Duke came out with Kira Ree and they did a. It was white a, snake. Yeah, they did a yeah. white. Well, it started off with white oh, snake. Okay. Okay. Um, and somebody needs to get that girl a jaguar to grind on stack because <laughs> that was unbelievable. They need to do uh, more white snake really, really soon. Hint, hint. Like, uh, it was good. And then, uh, and then Kiori left the stage. And it was so, and it just takes his jacket, flings it over her shoulder. Like, it was just, it was beautiful. It was just. And I love Kiori, but I was happy that yes. she left the stage and allowed Duke to have his moment solo yeah. on yeah. the stage for the judges to yeah. see. Because I felt like, uh, I watched it again today actually, and Duke's performance got stronger in the second half. Well, I mean. For sure, it just got. Better. I, I don't care who you are. If she's on stage grinding, you're not looking at anything else. It's just the way it is. Like, so that's really good to see the Duke that we know can yes. perform. And, and, and when, yeah, when Billy Idol kicked in, you kicked in. And it was just oh, absolutely yeah. incredible. Uh, yeah, it was such a good number. And that, that jumping death drop landing right dead square in the center of the stage. Mm -hmm. the very, like, it was just, it was impeccably timed. Um, your musicality is just off the charts. It's just, it's amazing. Yeah. It's, I don't know whether you've noticed, we're, we're fans. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it was a fantastic number, fantastic number. Uh, the last number in the um, uh, performance round that we need to discuss, of course, is Cat Marlowe Menorah. Um, and it was such a good number. Um, High uh, praise to Cat for mm -hmm. the choreography yeah. and the backup dancers being in sync. They're so good. Like, like uh, obviously they've been dancing together mm -hmm. for years, mm -hmm. maybe with Cat for years, and 
you can just tell that that synchronicity was there yeah. and everyone was in sync. And but yet I also, I've that. never felt that they drew, like they never pulled focus from you, they never, like, they enhanced your number all the way through, all three of your numbers. Uh, your, your background performers were background performers and they enhanced your number and they showed you off, which is what they were supposed to do. Yeah. And you, as the focus, were phenomenal. Uh, your number was great, and, and what you had to give was wonderful. So thank you to to Kat for that because it was it was such a great number, and mm -hmm. I, I've enjoyed watching her journey throughout this entire competition. Um, so after all of those performances, they came back out and did a evening wear question and answer with the judges, and um, the ones that really stood out for me, uh, the two that really stood out for me. Um, Kat was asked about what it was like being a bio queen or a hyper queen, and her answer was beautiful. Um, and I love how she basically just kind of said, you know, you mean drag queen? <laughs> kind of thing, essentially. Yeah, you, you know, mean, like, drag and it's the queen. truth. Right, you know what I mean? Like, and it's, she's right. <laughs> um, so it was, it was, it was a powerful moment, and, 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 um, yes, because. Here in, in Edmonton, we don't differentiate. They are drag queens. They're females yeah. who do drag. Yeah. Females who perform in drag, I believe. Yeah. Well, and, and we just call them drag queens. It, no, tea, no shade to, to, to them because you know what I mean? You're like That's their culture. That's the states. It's all about putting labels on things and making sure that it's... Yeah. Whereas up here, it really is about inclusion. Or at least that's what we're fighting for anyway. We're fighting for and, it and, and winning. Yes. And... Um, the other one, flip side of that, that was asked basically the same question, um, was what did drag mean to them as a person kind of thing. Uh, and it was Duke's answer, and, and it was just beyond personable. Um, personal, I mean. Like, it was talking about um, that if it hadn't been for drag, he wouldn't have family that accepted him and loved him. Like, it was just, it was just, it was from the heart. It was just mm -hmm. uh, gut-wrenching. It was just a beautiful, beautiful speech. And, um, yeah. Uh, they were fabulous answers, fabulous answers. Um, now that being said, there was also, for the evening wear, there was also some great looks. Um, Kat's look again was gorgeous. Duke, Duke had a killer, and by killer I mean ugly as fuck, <laughs> suit, but it was amazing. Uh, yeah. Um, Gor go go uh, looked absolutely stunning, looked like a big uh, Christmas present, I felt. Um, yes. And uh, Ivy, Ivy was in this dress that stunning was stunning. Girl dress. So yeah, uh, that was the evening question and answer, and I, uh, it was just a fantastic. Everybody, everybody was poised. Everybody, uh, nobody was stammering. Everybody, yeah, everybody did well mm -hmm. uh, and looked fantastic. Um, Stephanie Prince again looked. Absolutely yes. gorgeous. Um, I love like the train on the pantsuit. It was really a nice touch. Yeah. It definitely was. It was. <laughs> it was. Um, it, maybe she needs some of those little things for grabbing things off the ground so that she can actually oh. get them herself. But what Canadian do I? Entire right? Yeah. What, <laughs> what do I know? Uh, but yeah, no, it was it was interesting. Uh, it was a good time, and uh, everybody everybody, as I say, looked uh, like absolutely stunning, and yeah. and, uh, and and uh, yeah. Did us proud with their answers. Um, after all that, as you alluded to, uh, Stephanie Prince ended up getting third place. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, unbeknownst to the performers, but um, the um, sweet corset, sweet carousel corset. Sorry, I'm sorry, I I'm should sorry. have that. Um, but yeah, anyway, they ended up donating money uh, to both second and third place. Uh, which was fantastic, so thank you to them. Um, so yeah, Stephanie Prince won some money towards a corset from them, and then uh, the final two were announced, um, and they had to do a lip sync battle. Um, mm. The final two, representing Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, Cat Marlo Menora! Or whatever Cat does. Right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> From, That's Cal my cat impression. <laughs> from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, weighing in at a strapping 165 pounds. I have no idea. <laughs> Duke 
the Crusher Carson. And we totally don't mean to offend you, Duke, if that's not the yeah, case. Yeah, I have no, I have, I have, I have no idea. You could no be 120. <laughs> bitch could be 120 for a line. I, I'm, I, I have no idea. I'm, I'm double that. So what do I know? Um, anyway, uh, it was an epic, epic lip sync. It was so good. So good. I rewatched it today, and oh. it was like, and during this lip sync, there were moments where. Cat could have had it, or Duke could have had it. Both were strong at different parts, yeah. parts of the yeah. competition. You never know. It was a really tight, yeah. very tight lips. It was. It was like kind of tough. Yeah, uh, <laughs> they were. It was just phenomenal. They both knew their words. Uh, they both they knew both their had movements. Reveals. They both had reveals. They, they both, both had, had uh, split drops. Yeah. And, and uh, yeah, they both had shots, and they both took them, and they all landed. Like it was just, it was amazing. Yeah. It was like, amazing. All the gimmicks landed, and that's yeah. so important. Yeah. Like, they they all worked out. So it was a very tight lip sync. You never knew who was going to win because exactly. at, each, at one point, each of you were in the lead. Yeah. It was fantastic. Yeah. So congratulations to both of you, as far as I'm concerned. Um, and at the very end of it all, the three judges had to decide who was going to win. And I was sitting beside Nebraska, and she uh, looked at a me. A wrenching choice. Yeah, she looked at me, and she was just like, what do I do? And I just said, there is no wrong answer, hon. Like, they're both <laughs> phenomenal. Yeah. There is no wrong answer. Trust your gut, put that person's name down. Like, that, that's, and that was the truth for me. Like, it was a flip of the coin. I would have been just as happy with Kat. Like, they, mm. it was so, so good. And yes. that, that is a testament to the whole competition that uh, it came down to two people, and I didn't give a shit who won. They were both so phenomenal, mm -hmm. and they both were going to represent to such an amazing oh, yeah. degree That's that I, I didn't care. Either um, one of you would have, yeah. either one of the top eight would have represented Alberta yeah. to the best of their ability. Yeah. So, anyway, congratulations no to all any of you. Congratulations to uh, Twisted Element and Evolution and Alberta's Next Drag yeah. Superstar, and uh, welcome Duke Carson to the winner Circle, because that's that's absolutely phenomenal yeah. and an achievement above and beyond. And, and Calgary's got to be happy that you yeah. cinched the win and brought exactly. it to the southern half of the province. Good job, Calgary. <laughs> uh, good job. Uh, you better believe, you better believe we're coming for it back next year. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, we would be remiss if we did not uh, congratulate Davina Dye for on her tremendous year. Um, as Alberta's next drag superstar and her fabulous number uh, at the competition um, in her step down. It was just, it was exactly what she needed to do. I mean, uh, she showed that she'd grown, she showed that um, she showed what she'd also um, been known for. Like, it was just, I don't know, it was just the perfect Davina number. Uh, it was high energy, it was fun, it was campy, it was cute, there was a reveal, there was some dance. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, like <laughs> that fun little rainbow bodysuit. Yeah. It was good to see that again. Yeah, yeah, and like the little harlequin clown. Yeah, yeah. It, was, it was gorgeous. Uh, and then, again, you're one of the very few that can pull off that short little... The short cut. hair. Yeah, it looks yeah. so cute on you. Uh, but yeah, it was such a good number. So, uh, as I say, congratulations on a fantastic year. And, uh, yeah, your legacy is now permanently cemented as, as Alberta's Next Drag Superstar 2017. Uh, we look forward to watching your star continue to shine. Love you, girl. Uh, but yes, that was Anne. So thank you very much for, for everyone. It was, it was absolutely wonderful. But that was just the start of our weekend, if you can believe that. Um, on Saturday, the ISCWR had another drag competition. Uh, it was called That Drag Thing, and it was to uh, highlight the junior and amateur um, kings and queens of the city. Um, yeah. So, I mean, if Friday was the competition at the height of your drag career, yep. this competition was the height of your beginnings of your drag career. Exactly. Or less than a year experience, if you will. <laughs> exactly. Um, so, yeah, the, uh, the new amateur king, mm -hmm. um, Jordan King, stepped down. Yes. Um, the new amateur king is Will Ryder. Okay. Um, and uh, he did a great job. Mm -hmm. um, the, uh, the new junior. I did that wrong. Oh shit. Didn't I? Yes, you did. I you did. Junior. The junior king, sorry, the junior king is what is Will Ryder. The amateur king is Jesse Can Do It, um, who did a phenomenal number, um, and I feel a little guilty that uh, I do have a bit of a man crush on my, on my grandpa, but uh, yeah. yeah uh, 
you killed it. Um, and uh, is he your grandpa? I guess so. I guess <laughs> so. My eighteen. Yes. Your eighteen-year-old grandpa. Um, and uh, then in the Sorry. in the amateur queen competition, um, Artesia, Indigo, and Chez Les La Rue uh, were in that competition, and it was actually Chez Les that pulled that out, and it was gorgeous. She looked at Jessica Rabbit realness. Oh, yes. um, it was yeah. just absolutely wonderful. Um, what I have to talk about that show um, was mm -hmm. that we were at the Edmonton Inn and Conference Center, and there was a dart throwing competition in another room, and they happened to walk by, and they saw like um, actually they came in during Can You Do It's number. And, and they saw, like, you know, this girl up on stage in this dress and lip syncing to this song. And they were just like, well, this looks like a party. And yeah, it came more in. Interesting, more interesting than their dart throwing competition. Yeah. So they like, came in, like, paid the five bucks cover, or ten dollar cover, I guess, because it wasn't, they weren't members. Um, and uh, they came in, they got involved in the 50 50. They bought one of the. Um, yeah, they, they totally just like joined our party. They bid on the silent auction <laughs> items, they were tipping people. Uh, so, anyway, uh, because of all that. And they arrived near the ending of the show because of that. The ISCWR decided, hey, we're going to throw on a third set. Uh -huh. So, everybody banded together, and people that were just there to watch ended up putting on a number and people who were there just to film put on a number. So exactly. <laughs> uh, uh, if you watch John Deere's debut, that was not a planned number in case she heard it all. Which, is why, which is why Bitch was in shorts and a t-shirt. She had just got off work. Um, so, so, so John yeah. Deere's debut performance came out of that impromptu third set of the ISCWR amateur exactly. show. So we so just that's how that happened. That's how this happened today. Exactly. <laughs> so we just in this weekend of the king. The weekend the of program. the king, the year of the king. But yeah, we uh, we needed to say a shout out to the ISCWR and, and Tanner and, and a few others, uh, Kenya, just for mm -hmm. really banging that out and you couldn't that is what your organization is about. That is about the outreach. That is taking, just saying, you know what, I'm just going to hang out for another couple of hours, even though I wanted to go home a long time ago. I'm going to hang out yeah, for another couple of hours, another two hours, and we're going to entertain people to get our name out there so that people will know more about our organization. So congratulations, guys. Uh, I have to believe the entire night was a success, so, so yeah. great job. And then on Sunday, um, I was fortunate enough to make it out to Queen's Brunch at Match Eatery and Public House. Mm -hmm. um, this is now my third time going to Match Eatery for the brunch shows, mm -hmm. and we have a wonderful time. We always have a good time. Yeah. Yes. Sister Mary's always always a fun host, yeah. and, and it's a good venue for her because she's she gets to move around and talk, and it's very free mm -hmm. for her to. Uh, I mean, she has a lot of freedoms there. Yeah. Um, so, Sister Mary's a staple, mm -hmm. but we always have guest performers every month. This month, we had Andrew Ginny, Melinda Verga, and Morgan Fair. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Um, Melinda did some fabulous, fabulous dance numbers, including one that she didn't want me to film because it was a repeat, but I actually think you did it better than last time. <laughs> and, um, I want to mention quickly, uh, Andrew Ginny did a uh, Trixie Mattel uh, folk song from Trixie's oh, folk the country, country album. album. Nice. Yeah, so it's like a cute little uh, country mix into that. And I don't think Andrew does a lot of country. It's not no. her genre. But no, that's she did a cute little Trixie Mattel number. That's cute. So yeah, right on. That was Sunday. Uh, that was the brunch. That was Sunday morning. Uh, Sunday evening. Um, as it is a very special episode of the Sunday Review, mm -hmm. um, the Cunts Brothers, Dixer and Ryden, presented Male Privilege! Oh my um, goodness, and that had what? Drag Kings! Drag Kings! Um, yeah, I actually was working security, so any of the videos that I... Uh, I watched them on Dragging Our Heels, so um, it looked like a fun show from what I yes. saw online and what I saw at the back of the room, but you were actually front row experiencing. Uh, what'd you think? So, so good. I think that we are seeing an incline of drag talent for drag kings, specifically. Mm -hmm. um, I really enjoyed, from Calgary, the very best. Oh, there were some uh, technical difficulties in the beginning there with some of the songs cutting out. However, 
you could clearly see DeVere's <laughs> professionalism mm -hmm. play mm -hmm. through and like was really able to like work through the technical difficulties and improv and yeah. I'm just like <laughs> didn't, didn't well. sit there like a deer in the headlights. <laughs> <laughs> um, and and just from a personal side, I was actually the one uh, when DeVerry arrived at the bar. I was the one that was working security. So um, I introduced myself, started talking about you know how happy we were that he came and everything else. And he was just a sweetheart. So uh. um, and came up to me at the end of the night and thanked me for having him. And uh, yeah, like very sweet. classy, classy guy. Uh, and, and it's the first time we have DeVerry on mm -hmm. our channel. So, so welcome to the channel, DeVerry Best. Exactly. Um, another new one that um, that yeah. apparently oh, yeah. Dixon and Ryder Dixon and Ryder were talking about at from the show from Fort Mac uh, from Fort Mac they had actually met in Vancouver at Vancouver Coronation um, Billy Gold came out and had like this gold glitter beard and mm -hmm. uh, kind of yeah definitely had some moves and uh, and uh, yeah and, and Billy Gold his look mm. you know what it reminded me of. Secretia Menora when she did Bio uh, King Dress. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. It um, reminded me very much that same look, stick thin, but like with the eyes and everything. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, definitely a I really was getting strong Secretia look. Vibe strong, from that strong look did. from Billy Gold. So again, that's two brand new kings that we're more than happy to have uh, on our channel. Yeah. So uh, that's fantastic. And like the local kings killed mm -hmm. it as well. Um, AJ McLean time. Again, we're really sorry, like, your video was blocked yet again. Yet again! This is twice now that yes. you've performed. AJ McLean Times performed twice. And twice they've been blocked on YouTube with no evidence that they've performed. Worldwide. So... Boom! AJ <laughs> um, oh. There was a couple that I needed to do a shout out to because, course, again, yeah. I was at the back and uh, I was living for it music-wise. Um, Harvey Steele came out to girls, dun, 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 girls. Dun, dun, dun. all I really want is girls. girls. I love the Beastie Boys and uh, yeah, fantastic. Girls. Um, uh, and the other one that I thought was great uh, was was uh, Quinn. Um, Harry Schnitzel came Harry out. Harry Schnitzel. To, Harry Schnitzel right, came out Steven. to. Uh, to uh, Billy Crystal's, like, you're open marvelous, and it was just yeah, like I haven't even heard that in 25 years. So uh, yeah, that was that was marvelous. Uh, and yes, it is better to look good than to feel good. Believe me, though. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that was uh, highlights for me from the back, music-wise. Anyway, we had. Another King debut, because again, I, I debuted as a King this week. True story. We had another right. Queen debut as a King, and that was Alexis von Kuntz normally debuted as, what was it? Breeder Kuntz? Breeder Kuntz. Breeder Kuntz. Breeder Kuntz. So, Kuntz. welcome to the channel, Breeder Kuntz, and I love that um, duet with mm -hmm. Ryder. <laughs> the incest duet. The synth, incest, sexually transmitted disease. Yes. Uh, the... Uh, uh. The cunts are all officially now dicks. They um, are now officially dicks. They are now cunts, or whatever you call them. And apparently they're incestuous too. Yes. Well, they're both hot, so I don't blame them. Ah. Uh, there was actually even one more debut. Yes. Smoky Guyliner. Smoky Guyliner. So good. So good. Uh, it was adorable. Um, and, and yeah, such a cute concept and good. Well executed, and I, I know Mindy Lou who was 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 a little bit nervous kind of thing, but yeah, no, I, I, I thought I thought uh, I thought Smokey did great. Um, and so she, Smokey, sorry, he, oh my God, misgendered much. He performed milkshake <laughs> and had actual milkshake that he created at the bar and. Yeah, like had a blender on stage, uh, like blender. did the whole thing, and anyway, and then was handing out basically little bits of milkshake for tips kind of thing. I love a gimmick. <laughs> yes, we do love a gimmick. I love a gimmick that makes you money. That's adorable. Um, but yeah, it was it was a fantastic debut. So so welcome to the channel and welcome to the family and everything else. Uh, Smoky Eyeliner. Uh, yeah, all in all, it was a fantastic show. Um, it was absolutely packed in there. Um, the female to male ratio for a male show was very high. <laughs> that was weird, but uh, I've got one more thing to talk oh, about. Oh, right. Oh, sorry. My husband. Oh, yes. Colin I'm sorry. Day. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's all right. That's what do I know? That's okay, love. Yeah. Uh, yes, please go on about your husband. My husband, 
King of Hearts 2018, Colin Bay. Um, I loved your country number and especially loved uh, the group number mm. where Stephen and I both thought that Colin Bay really stood out for all the right reasons, mm -hmm. uh, really stood out in that group number. It's raining men. Yeah, when the <laughs> four of you were in the line, you were the one I was watching. That's that. That's the biggest compliment I can give to that group. You know what I mean? Like, because uh, yeah, you were in some good company in there. So yeah, as I said, when I said that to Bambi afterwards, I was just like, by the way, my eye was on Colin pretty much the whole time. I'm not sure why. And it's not like that you, as I said, it wasn't a bad thing. You weren't pulling focus from others. You weren't hamming it up, trying to like get other, but like, it was just, oh, no, it was just means. your movements. It was just the way, yeah. anyway, it was good. Yeah, like. All the other performers in that group number, y'all did great. Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. And I love the way that you know uh, you did what uh, you should do in a group number, where everybody got a turn out front and everybody yes. got to have the center of attention, kind of. Thing. It was a very smart group number by that yeah. way because everyone did get a moment to yeah. shine in the spotlight yeah. in the front row. And I, I like a big closing number. So yeah, a group number for closing the show is yeah. always a great thing. Yeah. So yeah. Um, Congratulations to the Kunz Bros and the entire cast on a on a great show and and closing out our weekend of of uh, drag kings uh, phenomenally. So yes, um, yeah, <laughs> the year of the king is real. <laughs> so um, yeah, and I just side note, I've been talking about it for a year, but I have confirmation from both Duke Carson and Ryder Kunz. We may be looking at a hair metal band. Dual, oh, dual lip sync battle kind of thing, possibly around coronation. So oh. uh, be looking for that. I am working hard on that for us all. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, yay! So, <laughs> all that, all that was last weekend. weekend, and this is this weekend. <laughs> it's true. Um, uh, this weekend is actually kind of interesting because uh, we don't really have any events on the Friday. We don't really have any events on the Saturday. So weird. We're usually packed. So yeah. Packed full of weekends. So, events. Blake, <laughs> honestly, if you've got oh. some on, send us a message and we'll see what we can do. Um, I'm actually away a chunk of the weekend. Uh, Braden is currently off and, and Sky, I believe, is busy this weekend yeah. too. So, both of um, them. It's I. actually probably a good weekend for us to not have a lot of events because <laughs> we're Bambi, would have to do it all. I have to do it all. And Bitch is working in the garden center. I don't want to be out. No, exactly. I'm kidding. <laughs> that being said, there are three events on Sunday. Um, and as of now, as I say, because we're not around, most of us, um, there's only going to be one of them that are filmed. So uh, if you want to see some amazing drag next Sunday for Mother's Day, check these events out because yes. you won't be seeing the videos on Dragging Your Heels. That's right. Um, at lunch, you can go to Drag Your Mother to Brent at Sherlock Holmes at the University. Yes. Um, it's an ISCWR event hosted and I believe uh, it's put on by Morgan and Vanity Fair. Yeah. Um, it's going to be a fantastic show. Uh, it's always a great venue. I think it's $30 and then a good chunk of that goes to um, goes to the court as a, as a yeah. fundraising venture. So yeah, yeah. Um, check out that event online. Um, mm -hmm. I'm sure it's going to be fantastic and as I say, if you want to see those numbers, you better go live because we won't be there. Um, and in the evening, in the evening at the Buckingham um, Homicidal, Homicidal Returns, and it's going to be a fantastic event. Uh, again, as of right now, uh, we're not going to be there because I'm still out of town. Mm -hmm. um, but it's the whole crew, or not the whole crew. There's 50 of them, but uh, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> it feels like it. But <laughs> Chelsea's there. Lilith is there, Gogo's there, Lourdes is there, I think, like, uh, plus, yeah. yeah. A, a, a whole, bunch of homicidal at the Buckingham. Maybe Sides, maybe Eden, maybe, like, there's a whole bunch of them there. So, yeah. uh, it's going to be a fantastic show. So, uh, by all means, next Sunday, um, head down to Homicidal at the Buckingham. Um, yes. If you're not heading to that event, um, or we'll you have, have a or Sunday review. We have a Sunday review royale coming up at Evolution Wonder Lounge. Competition. Um, so if you want to uh, your throw your hat in the ring or your shoes on the stage, um, head down to Evolution next week, uh, bring some songs, and uh, try your luck. 
See yeah, what you can do. Try to win some money. It's basically like an open show that anyone can be a part of. There is limited spacing, so you gotta get in there early. Doors are at 9, and I would be there buying up pretty close to 9 if you want a good shot. Yeah, um, basically. I, I'm not sure 100% of the cutoff time and everything else, or how many. Some shows, there's been 18 performers or something, so yes. uh, they do really try to let everybody that, that arrives go in it. But, uh, but yeah, uh, be there for uh, as early as you can. Mm. Try it out. Um, Artesia, I'm looking at you. Uh, ah. uh, I already... That message was passed along to you online too, but um, yeah, I really hope to, to see you out on, on yeah. Sunday. Um, Bambi yes. will be at the Sunday review to record that. Yes, um, I will be there. So those videos will be coming your way afterwards, but um, if you know someone that can film for Dragging Our Heels at either of those events, please contact us online as well. Um, we're always looking for people that are willing to help us out or can do so in any way. Please. Offer. <laughs> um, uh, favorites of the week. Favorites of the week. Favorites of the week. I think we should just dive in this because the episode has already been 45 minutes long. Yeah. We'll just dive in. Um, my pick of the week is Go Go Fetch Lies. Mm. Yes. Mm -hmm. I just, it's gotta, it's gotta, it's got the emotion, it's got. Oh, it was Anne's worthy, as we like to say. <laughs> worthy as fuck. Um, honestly, that was almost my pick, too. Um, but then I realized what I was doing, and I was trying to not just pick Duke Carson, Rebel Yell. And that, to me, meant that that's what I really wanted yeah. to say. So, so uh, yeah, Duke my Carson. pick of the week is, is Duke Carson, Rebel Yell. Uh, it, was, it was the number that... Yeah. Totes. Yeah. Totes. I don't need to say anything more. I... <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. And videographer Brayden, his pick was uh, Smoky Guy Liner Milkshake. Mm -hmm. The so milkshake brought Brayden to the yard. It did bring Brayden to the yard, so we'll have that up as a pick of the week. Right on. And... Uh, Take it away, Ferris. Really, I think that's really about it. So, um, thank you so much for watching, as always. I'm sorry that this episode is so long, but uh, we had some people asking us... Well, we have such great drag king talent this week. We had some people asking us whether we wanted to, like, do, whether like, we were going to do an Anne's finale special, and instead of doing that, we just stuck it all together. So, um, it was a fantastic weekend. Uh, enjoy all the videos. Um, yeah, like, subscribe. Share, like, subscribe, and share to get Do your favorite kings and queens liked and favorited so they can see their videos more often. Exactly. Thanks for watching. Thanks. Bye. Bye. <laughs>